Welcome back to the Odds Checker Fantasy Football Challenge. My name is George Ellick. This is Ryan Elliott alongside me. Each week we take on each other with £20 million to spend. One defender, one midfielder and one forward in, the fa in Premier League fantasy football. You can't have two from the same team. I have won three in a row. It's 3-1 for the season and I'm going for four and I'm pretty confident I'm going to kick us off this week. Because you normally do. I'm yeah. trying to break your duck by changing the way it works. <laughs> Um, first up for me in defence is the guy that basically everyone has to have in their team in Benjamin Mendy. Um, Manchester City hosts Fulham. I think Fulham, the way they play, should mean there'll be a lot of space on the flanks for Manchester City to exploit. He's absolute class. Clean sheet, looks like probably a bit of a banker and also you know, he's an assist machine. So Benjamin Mendy is my defender. Uh, well, you know, I might be three one down, but I'll see myself as a Chelsea team under Conte when they won the league. Slow start, then I'm run my way to the uh, to the title. And speaking of which, um, I'm going to go for Marcus Alonso, a key component of that title winning team, who is uh, Chelsea's striker, uh, well, my defender. Um, he's got Cardiff at home. He just plays a striker quite a lot for Chelsea, and um, he gets so many goals, so many assists. Hit the woodwork quite a few times this season too. So I can see him. Because him doing damage against Warnock's side. You get no points for hitting the woodwork. Uh, Pedro is, is my next one. I basically pick him every week. He's, he's down as a midfielder. He plays as a, as, a, as a forward. He's very, very cheap indeed. And fantastic goal scoring form. Looks like he could be the player that really profits from Sarri's system being the goal scorer up there. Doesn't look like Alvaro Morata is going to score very many, does it? Um, so yeah, Pedro is my midfielder. So Pedro and Mendy so far for me. Yeah, I've gone for Wolves wide man Diego Hotta. Last season's top scorer, of course. Not scored yet this season, but there will be some, there's signs of him scoring and he'll come good eventually. He's uh, looking like the chief goal threat. And they've got Burnley at home, who look awful at the back. And if it wasn't for Joe Hart, they'd have conceded much, much, many more goals. We're picking the same matches here, so we're kind of stealing each other's reasoning. Yeah, I've gone for uh, Jimenez, the, the striker for Wolves. Obviously got off the mark early on this season. Looks like a real handful. Uh, Wolves have had a difficult uh, campaign so far in terms of fixtures, but this one does look like a home banker for me uh, in the early kickoff on Sunday. I'll be backing Wolves to win it, and I think that Jimenez is great value as a striker. And my striker is Callum Wilson, a reliable, cheap pick who is going to score quite a few goals this season. He's looked very sharp already. He's got Leicester at home, which might be a bit, bit, bit of a tough one to score against. But if Bournemouth do score, it'll probably be Wilson, and I'm backing him to do so for me. There you have it. Uh, George, tune in next week so you can see it when it's 4-1 to me, and I'll be trying to make it 5. But you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right away, where you can see all of our fancy football tips, all of our betting tips, and all of our content there before anywhere else.